Hello everyone, it's Lou Collins. Thank you so much for joining me. Today we're going to be looking at Aged Mahogany, one of the Distress Oxide colours. Just focusing on this for a short while. Um, I found I've got so many Distress Oxide colours and very often they get lost amongst favourites and most used and this is just a chance to bring them out check what color they actually are because of course although the labels are really quite accurate sometimes you get slight color differences once you start blending them and i'm also going to give you a three and four color um, combination that you can use as well mixing in your other distress oxides and making the use of those too so hopefully this will help some of you so let's start so i'm using aged mahogany today i'm actually doing this series alphabetically the first video was abandoned coral so that was just out um, recently and this is the next one so this is just the second video so i'm going to just pop this down into the middle and as you can see it's a really rich dark color it's perfect if you want a vintage christmas theme perhaps um, I really, really love this for gentlemen's cards as well because it gives some warmth um, whilst not being too bright or too girly or anything like that. Now I'm going to do a nice big strip in the middle so you can really see that colour. Isn't that just absolutely beautiful? It's very, very rich, gorgeous. Now let's do a couple of combinations, starting with, t well, Gathered twigs is, is pretty obvious. When you put the two together, they look like they would blend nicely. But to add a little bit of spark to that, I'm going to mix in salvage patina, a lovely bright, sort of, I'd say minty green, um, a turquoise, uh, really lovely colour. So let's start at the top here. No, no, let's go this way. Let's go with the brown in here. If you ever want to just add a little bit of shading, a little bit of colour um, alteration or blend to your project, actually you don't want to add a second color or you're not sure what color would work just go with a little bit of either brown or a little bit of black soot because either one of those just a tiny bit around the edges of your cardstock or just on one end will just add a lovely sort of vintage look to it isn't that gorgeous absolutely stunning now let's brighten this up with salvage patina of course when you look at the two together you probably probably wouldn't think to work those two colors together but they do just work beautifully so salvage patina let's pick these up now everything i'm using including my clear blending mat my blending brushes as well and of course all of my oxides they have all come from craft stash craft stash's website full of craft products uh, available in the uk and also in the US uh, there's two different website addresses for wherever in the world you are so check that out it's all in the description links to everything is in the description for you so you can see everything I'm using now what I love about these two colors blending together the salvage patina and the aged mahogany is we get this really lovely creamy color now I always go back in with another color and just help to blend that but look how beautiful that is isn't that just a gorgeous gorgeous blend now like i say you probably wouldn't think to put these two colors next to each other they just work absolutely lovely now of course these color combinations they don't just apply to blending backgrounds this can be for stamping as well um, if you want to use this to help match cardstock as well with anything that's inked in aged mahogany or stamped in aged mahogany you can of course do that too so let's do one more color combination because I do like to do a couple. And this is where I'm going to show you how black soot can just accelerate just a one color blend. So if you're just covering a panel in one particular color, which I'll do mostly here, let's do the bottom half of this strip. Now, most of my blending brushes, well, all, they're all from uh, Craft Stash. At one point or another, I sort of kept stocking up, stocking up. Um, but they're as close to the colors as possible and I have labeled each one so I've got a new blending brush for each and every color um, they're not all perfect so the chip sapphire for example the blue has got a purple handle but they're, they're reasonably close so there's my aged mahogany as you can see again lovely rich almost a red wine color I'm going to use a little bit of black soot and I'm just going to go into the base here not too far and then I'm not going to reapply my ink at all. I'm just going to lightly work up about a quarter of the paper there. And look at that, isn't that gorgeous? I just bring that red in just to reinstate the aged mahogany a little bit, make sure that hasn't toned down that at all. Gorgeous. So that can just be a color blend for you in itself if you wish. 
uh, maybe just around the edge of your cardstock to give it that sort of big net look. Now let's add some more colour into this. So I always like to wipe my mat between colour blends just to make sure I don't get, for example, any of the black going into the next colour. Also, if I've used a wet wipe, dry it off as well. Now I'm going to go with chipped sapphire, a blue. Blue working into the red is lovely. And this is really a really nice sort of masculine colour itself, but this is a lovely masculine blend. If you want something nice and traditional, maybe for something like um, retirement, grandfather's birthday, you know, something like that, it's lovely. So again, I'm not going to bring this blue too far up because I'm, I risk hitting where the black meets the red and then we totally lose the aged mahogany. So let's just again reinstate the aged mahogany through there because that's kind of the most important colour and just blend that down into the blue also. Now lastly, I'm going to use antique linen which is a lovely yellow blend but it's a cr it's a creamy colour so it's really stunning. I've got a black handle for this, it's classed as one of my neutrals actually so it's got a black handle. There we go. It's quite a cool cream actually I think so it's going to work well into that blue and because it is it's really almost a neutral it's going to work with absolutely any colour combination you want with this one. So again I don't want to lose the blue so I'm not going to go too far up into there. But there we go we have our four colour combination let's just bring that blue down a little further I think into there just a little bit there we go much better. So we have a three and a four colour combination using aged mahogany so hopefully that's given you more of an idea of what that colour actually looks like once it's blended out um, but also some lovely colour combinations that you can use with this one. Please do join me again subscribe to my channel because I will be going through all of the Distress Oxide colours and doing this same technique with all of them so that you can see how they all look and um, if you want to purchase any of these of course all my Distress Oxides blending brushes blending mats are all available throughout the links below. Thank you everybody, take care and I'll see you again soon.